Hello, this is the Tachibana Corporation, and today we are doing a tutorial on how to install Windows from scratch and get all the way through it without signing into a Microsoft account. So let's go ahead and get started. As you can see on this screen here, this is the first screen you would see if you booted from an ISO. Go ahead and get started. So right here it tells you to put in your activation key, but you don't have to do it right away. You can just click this option right here. I don't have one. You can always put it in later. Next, we're going to select our edition. Accept the license agreement. I do recommend that you at least read this once. Microsoft does like to sneak things in there. Now, you can do this if you're upgrading from an older operating system, but if you're doing it from scratch like we are, you're going to have to do custom. And here is where you're going to format and create the hard drives. And then Windows will start installing. And that didn't take very long at all. Next, it should start doing you know, it just finished installing updates. Soon it should ask for a reboot. There it is. Now we have to reboot. And then once it's done rebooting, it'll go ahead and start the next phase of the installation. That took a surprisingly long time. Oh, we're rebooting. Not rebooting correctly, apparently. There we go. Apparently we have rebooted. And here we go. Should be the final stage of the installation. All right. So here we have to select our country. And this is my keyboard layout. I don't have a second keyboard layout I'd like to use, so I'll skip it. All right, so the first screen you'll see here where you have to start doing stuff is set up for personal use or set up for an organization. If you were setting this up for an organization, you probably wouldn't be watching this video. So we're going to do set up for personal use. Hit next. And then here it says, let's add your account. So might not be easy to notice since it's down here with the terms of use and privacy and cookies, but the option right here is to use an offline account. Select it now. And then Microsoft tries to reel you in to use their Microsoft account. So once again, you're going to have to do this limited experience button in the bottom left corner that's kind of blunted in with the background. If you click next, it'll just make you sign in. 
So click limited experience. And now this is where it gets good, where you put in your name. But Microsoft makes one last ditch attempt right here for you to use an online account. But we're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to click next. All right. Since you would like to not use a Microsoft account, it might be safe to just turn all of this telemetry off. Microsoft uses this to improve Windows 10, but if you don't want it to take any of your information, it'd be best to just turn it all off and then hit accept once you're done. And then we're going to go ahead and do not now for Cortana as well. And then here we go. Getting into the very final stages of a Windows installation. As you can see, this is the first thing you see after a successful installation. You can see they're still trying to market their products at me. I'll go ahead and say maybe later. But there you go. This is the whole installation without logging into a Microsoft account. Now, if you log into the settings app, you can see right here that you are signed into a local account and then they tell you that they recommend to you to get the full Microsoft experience to log in but that's how you do it hope you guys got something out of this video and please let us know down in the comments what tutorial videos you would like us to do next and we hope to catch you guys next time